All right, yeah. we're going to talk about the new Cosmic Crucible rules. Joining with me today is Juicy. What's up, my guy? How are you doing? What's going on? What's going on? All right. Good. And, and you're known for being pound for pound, uh, one of the best Cosmic Crucible players out there. Uh, at a high level, what's your take on this? We were talking about it before. You said that this is going to be very offense-minded. Explain what you mean by that. Uh, nothing's going to hold more than maybe one hit at most. So expect to have people going six for six or seven for six so very fast no efficiency put things that slow people down turn wise and that's it you know yeah. you're not going to hold yeah things are not going to hold especially now with the introduction of the exhausted mechanic and i'm going to just say this right now it's going to come down to do you have super scroll or not probably for a lot of players now what i wanted to do is just to go over each room very quickly and you tell me whether or not that is going to be an impactful room that you should play around or a room that you maybe ignore and just put a good team there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, room one. Uh, this is one of my favorite rooms. Strike your characters on ally turn, gain assist now. What do you think about this room right here? This one's really strong. You're going to put a very fast team that does a lot of damage. Okay, and it's interesting. You and I actually picked similar teams. We're going to go over your... Uh, what you're going to do, and then you're going to critique what I'm going to do. All right. Temporal sheeting on defense and offense, tech and skill characters. When basic is used, gain speed up. With speed up at the end of the turn, bear yourself for 20% of the character's max health. Do you think this is going to matter much? Uh, no, right now, only when S6 is here. This is a blank room till then. All right. So this is, this is a nothing burger room. Okay. Corrupting power on defense and offense. Ultimate abilities cost two less to use when using an ultimate ability spread all negative effects from self to adjacent allies. And there's some clarification on this room. Like that's not going to spread trauma uh, or stun. Or, and I'm not even sure it's going to spread ability block actually from what I heard. What do you think of this room right here? This is very familiar though, right? Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty, this is a, this is room six from last thing. So it's good not any different though okay so yeah this is a repeat of well I, we've had a room like this for two seasons in a row so i think most people are gonna be prefer, pretty familiar all right spec ops on successful dodge gain stealth characters with stealth gain 20 percent damage <laughs> what do you think about this this one's annoying but it's not difficult yeah so you're gonna put so all right, and then mutant immune system. This is actually kind of less prescriptive than other mutant rooms we've had in the past. I actually like last season a little better. On turn, clear all negative effects from self, heal self for 10% of max health for each negative effect, and that's applying to mutant characters. So what do you think about this room? I think it's interesting. I think there's only a handful of teams that actually fit in here. Okay, yeah. And then spider rules of combat. On defense and offense, villain characters on successful attack apply defense down to each target attacked, and then hero characters on successful attack apply offense down to each target attacked. And I was thinking of a mixed uh, teams that do AOE, so you can take advantage of both of those effects. Is that kind of what you were thinking? Uh, I think it was designed to be the scroll room, but... The thing about his offense here is going to kill everything before it goes. So I don't think it's going to be matter much on that room, to be honest. All right. Teamwork. So this is the room where you're going to move around strikers. Uh, interestingly enough, I think that I put here, uh, <laughs> you see what I did right here uh, with the with big time Spider-Man. And you did something similar. Let's take a look at what you did and what you were thinking right there. So you have almost the same team. And it looks like you are using nor war. So what's your thinking about room one? So that's just a lot of damage coming out. So I'm going to change the ISOs obviously uh, for hard light, but nor is fast uh, hits three people instead of big time. Spider-Man hits one person. Mm -hmm. And so you have three chances for Miss Marvel to hit the same person or rewind them um, instead of big time, which is only one. That's why nor pumps up big time spider-man all right so to be clear um, you're talking about changing hard light into uh a striker right and so then you would have mm -hmm. all you would you would have you would have to change them all the strikers except for noir is what you're saying and then he, noir would go first and then you're hoping that hard light will rewind them is what you're saying yes okay 
That, that and and this is the trick. Yeah, this is the trick play that people have been running up here uh, in Upper Masters is because there is RNG now with New Warriors. New Warriors is not a guaranteed fight versus this room because of that. There's th three tunes can get rewounded by by Noir. Okay, so this is interesting. I I'm definitely going to be putting Noir there because I can use Big Time Spider Man somewhere else. You know, that's, that makes a lot. Okay, this one right here is on defense and offense, skill and tech characters. When a basic you use, gain speed up with speed up, and then turn bear yourself, characters max health. And I didn't do anything at all with this room. I wasn't sure what to do. What are you going to do? You're going to do Infinity Watch. Infinity Watch in general is just a great team to put on defense because it slows them down, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, efficiency sink, and that's needed. And, um, and there's the skill and tech bonuses right there too, right? Yep. Okay, so I think... Now for, go ahead. Now one of the worries for Pegasus is um, the Pegasus mirror is extremely fast. So this is kind of the efficiency thing you got to think about. Uh, Pegasus on the mirror is going to kill that in two or three turns. And that's going to cost you... That's that's a big win. You know, if someone scores a 20-27 on you, 20-26 um, efficiency score. Yeah, because this is going to be about offense rather than holding. It's going to be about can they kill you in less turns and get more points. And the exception to that is going to be the super scroll, whether you have it or not. All mm -hmm. right. Corrupting power. Ultimate abilities cost two or less to use when using ultimate ability spread all negative effects. So I feel like to me, this was just a replay of room six from last season. So I just did what I had in room six last season. You are looking at Black Order with Super Scroll. My goodness. That's just hit them in the face and hope they just die before they get a turn. Okay. And uh, Super Scroll, so this is going to be dependent on whether or not you have Super Scroll or not, whether or not this is a strategy. Now, the thing about Super Scroll, though, is he gets a benefit from two heroes and two villains. What's the thinking there with Black Order? Oh, well, Black Order has this unique... Um, if you if you see him up in the upper levels, he they Thanos ults early and his ult is a rewind. Maul goes early and his ult is a rewind. Proxima has an ult that's a rewind. Scroll has an ult that's just kill you. So the hope is that they just get nuked and they don't get a turn. Okay. Next room right here, Spec Ops. We're gonna go, which is the the dodge stealth mechanic. I put Infinity Watch there. I was thinking that maybe Nebula would go and then they would have the dodge and they'd go under stealth. Probably is better in room two. You are going uh, unlimited right there, which is one of the teams that does get a bonus in Cosmic Crucible. What's How do you think that's going to play out? Uh, I think it's going to be just fine. I watch as a great play, uh, pl person to put in that room, and so is ULX. They're probably the top two choices for that room. Yeah, and your strategy would only work if you're using Phantom X, right? Because that's on spawn. The Phantom X gives them the dodge, which is then when they do dodge, they're going to go into stealth. I mean, it, it wouldn't work if you subbed out uh, Phantom X, right? Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, room five. So this is the mutant room that is toned back a little bit. And um, uh, I've got my limited there, which, you know, whatever, right? And then it looks like you went... I'm going to toggle over here. Death Seed. That's great, right? What else are you going to use Death Seed, right? Exactly. And then you're hoping that they try to mirror it and it doesn't go well for them because it doesn't work as well as it. The mirror is not easy anymore. And then in the last room right here is the mixed room, which right here is on defense and offense. Villain characters do defense down and then hero characters do offense down. So uh, I was I was debating between Gamma or Rebirth, and here you've got Darkhold. So tell me what you think about this room here. Uh, I think it's a blank room. Um, I just put Darkhold takes a lot of turns to kill, so I put Darkhold here. Um, I know some of the other people are using Sinister Six already in there because Doc Ock doesn't let you get offense down. Um, and they're actually a hard team to beat now when they're maxed out, but I don't have the resources for that level of uh, investment. Yeah, so it's so. it's obvious that this was set up for not just Superior 6 and Sinister 6, but we don't have a complete Superior 6 team. So this is going to change pretty drastically as 
Craven comes out, and then we get Green Goblin, the new one. Where do you think they're going to end up? Uh, I think they'll start off on defense and on either room two or room six, and then they'll eventually probably float to offense. Okay. So, are you ready for season five? I'm ready. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see the way this plays out. What, you think it's just going to be a uh, full offense mess and efficiency wins, right? And hope you don't get a tie because what happens when you get a tie, right? Yeah. It, it's nice that that means the defenses aren't going to hold, so it makes it fun. Clearing people six for six is, is fun. Um and when you're double, you're sacking everything to, to clear, which is how it usually gets at the top. So I, I enjoy seasons like this. And so go over to Juicy's channel. Uh, you're gonna have a much more detailed analysis. This video here is under 15 minutes. How long is the video over there with your analysis? Uh, probably 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, so if you really wanna get into the nuts and bolts behind the strategies, anything you wanna say before we go? Uh, best of luck and talk to you soon. All right, later. All right. Oh, bye, bye for now. Bye for now.